to continue from the previous session when we were discussing about a different type of alternative investments available for investors in this session we will focus more on the role of alternative investment as strategic in asset allocation strategies here we will talk about why investment in alternative assets or alternative investment asset classes are important for diversifying your portfolio in order to achieve risk and return. So, earlier we uh, discussed that uh, traditional investment portfolios are invested on the basis of optimizing risk and return where we know that the risk and return could follow a certain trend based on the portfolio optimization strategy. In alternative investment as we know the, cl the classes of in, uh, assets that are available for investors are such that it would not follow a linear or a, uh, a quadratic sort of uh, a trend where you will ha always have a positive and increasingly uh, growing rate of return with the level of risk. Here the situation might be such that in some time for certain amount of risk you will have a return that might move like this. On the other hand you might have a return uh, which will move like this. So, basically which could be uh, a return that is increasing uh, with the level of risk that you uh, assume, a return that might be growing for certain level of risk and then as you increase your risk uh, level in, your, in investment the return might go down and also it could be a quadratic or exponentially growing such that uh, the more return risk you take the more return you generate. So, this is why alternative investments as investment avenue or as the part of your portfolio should be always considered carefully before you actually invest in. Continuing that discussion we would like to know more about why uh, what is the role of alternative investment in portfolio st allocation strategy. We have already discussed about different type of alternative investments. If you recall we discussed about hedge funds as alternative investment in terms of modern alternative investment. Hedge fund could be tactical or event driven or relative value hedge funds. These are different type of hedge funds that are available for investment. So, when uh, depending on your uh, risk return choice you can invest your money in either of these hedge funds. So, uh, the ultimate objective is to have a investment that will have a risk return optimization for any investor. So, uh, the ultimate uh, objective or ultimate criteria should be optimizing risk and return which is basically shown in the typical risk return frontier graph. Now, based on your risk return you can choose either of these three uh, categories of hedge funds. There are several other hedge funds for example, but uh, we include three uh, hedge funds here tactical which are basically uh, skill set based or the hedge fund that has certain objectives to achieve. It, the objective could be multiply your return by 100 times or uh, it could be uh, growing your investment value to 100 times and so on. Uh, there are hedge funds that will be dependent on certain events. For example, if there is uh, some amount of default happening in banking sector, a hedge fund can take a position based on that. Uh, there are relative value hedge funds which has certain investment exposure to uh, uh, an asset which will have some valuation connected with some other investment portfolio. So, there are these are hedge, hedge funds where investor can invest their money. Then second category of hedge fund is private equity. Uh, as we know private equity is basically the investment done in uh, companies which are publicly held or privately held or companies which have some exposure to uh, the investment pool available from private equity investors. It could be in the form of uh, venture capital or buyout capital. So, venture capital we know that 
दे आर इन्वेस्टमेंट चैनल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड्स और अ पूल ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स दैट इन्वेस्ट देयर मनी इन टिपिकली प्राइवेटली हेल्ड फॉर्म्स एंड दे वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट इन प्राइवेटली हेल्ड फॉर्म्स इन ऑर्डर टू सिक्योर सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ ओनरशिप सो दैट वेन द फॉर्म गोज पब्लिक Typically, they sell their ownership and uh, earn substantially high return. It could be buyout capital as well. Then we have private debt, could be in the form of distressed debt or direct lending to any an existing uh, uh, enterprise. We have already discussed about uh, real estate, where we learnt about uh, an a direct or indirect investment in real estate for an investor could be part of their alternative investment portfolio. this investment is could be in commercial or residential or uh, as indirect ownership through reit and so on these are our uh, ways of alternative investment in these asset category uh, there are other alternative investment that we have already discussed in the form of commodities could be hard commodities such as gold uh, silver platinum or agriculture product or could be soft commodities uh then we have investment choices in infrastructure and other alternative asset classes uh such as art and wine these are also uh, another form of investment for uh, people who have uh, substantially a high amount of money or investable fund so they would like to invest in art various forms of art and they also like to uh, make some investment in wine since these are assets uh, where valuation is not very straight forward and uh, uh, simple so investing in these type of assets or alternative investment would always carry a high amount of risk having learned uh, these different type of alternative investment we should focus more on the reasons why alternative investment should be held now here we list down certain uh, reasons for which uh, in investors should or would hold their investment in alternative uh, asset classes so first and foremost uh, objective is to earn or the possibility of earning above average return on investment because of uh, information asymmetry or any other reason alternative investment assets provide you an opportunity to earn substantially high return for example in real estate or could be in commodities or uh, another example could be investment in bitcoins so these assets provide you an opportunity to earn substantially high return uh, another feature is it is very uh, less liquid so when we talk about liquid essentially we mean that there is very less trading or less exchange happening in this these type of market asset markets and because of which there will be very few people participating in the exchange or trade of such investments so less liquid or low liquidity in uh, these asset classes increases the risk because we know that the liquidity as uh, we know uh, liquidity is directly related to return and risk so and then we also have another uh, way to know is trading volume so this this type of relationship have uh, already been uh, established in empirical research in finance which shows that if the trading volume is uh, high the assets are no uh, the, or or the markets are known to be highly liquid and if they are highly liquid the possibility to earn a substantially high return is very low and uh, this is also attributed to low amount of risk but when there is no not much trading volume it implies that the markets are or the asset class uh, uh, is less liquid that increases the chances of uh, earning substantially high return at very high level of risk because uh, for example suppose you hold some investment in a piece of art now if that piece of art is unique 
you know that there will be very few people who would be interested in buying that art from you. So, unless you find an interested buyer who would be willing to pay the price that you would want, you cannot sell that piece of art in market, which means there is less trading volume and hence less liquidity. Now, less liquidity means if, unless you find a buyer who is interested in willing uh, interested and willing to pay the price that you want, you cannot generate substantially high amount of return and that is why it is very risky. So, the moment a market is or an asset class is less liquid, it implies that it has substantially high amount of risk and at the same time in this example of art, if you found a person who has been desperately looking for that particular piece of art and he or she found that art with you, he or she would be willing to pay whatever price you would ask for. So, in that case the amount of earning substantially high return on that investment is really high. So, this is what this less liquid markets in terms of alternative in investment feature provides this scenario to the investors. At the same time uh, such markets and asset classes also have lower level of transparency because uh, people in, uh, invest and trade at in a very low frequency. So, they do not exchange information and most of the time information is not available. You must have heard of scams and other frauds uh, related to uh, pieces, uh, pieces of art or paintings of famous painters. Uh, where uh, people have been sold the paintings of celebrated painters at a very high price, but apparently those paintings turned out to be uh, fake or uh, uh, counterfeit. So, this, this is another possibility or a result of lower level of transparency. You can uh, exploit alternative investment class as high leverage potential market because you have an opportunity to leverage on uh, the availability of debt and other sources of funds. Uh, return is very skewed as usual because you cannot have a symmetric distribution of return. So, there is non normally distribution of return associated with alternative investment. And when we talk about non normal distribution we essentially mean that if this is the mean return of uh, certain asset, the distribution is normal or not normal. So, basically the dispersion or, uh, around both uh, sides of the mean or the average return is not symmetric. It could be a function where the return might be skewed towards one side or it could be skewed towards other side or it could be spread for a wider range of uh, dispersion. Alternative investment market also suffers from data biases because uh, for example, in private equity market stale prices could be one reason why investors might lose lot of money. Uh, it originates from uh, biased valuation or the data availability in terms of uh, stale pricing. Uh, their return distributions have higher moment skewness and kurtosis might be distorted as explained in these cases where the return distributions are not normal and hence skewed or uh, uh, leptokurtic or uh, uh, other similar features. So, these are reasons why alternative investment provide higher amount of risk, but at the same time it also provides you an opportunity to earn higher level of return. Now, when we talk about a role in asset allocation for these as, uh, alternative investment, we know that asset allocation is ultimate and most critical decision for any investment process. It basically determines the portfolio return variability because it uh, depending on how you choose your asset allocation strategy, you will generate certain uh, the amount of return. So, it determines your investment performance also. Typically, asset allocation is done by optimizing mean variance. If you recall from previous session, we have discussed that how uh, mean and variance can be optimized to arrive at the weights allocated to different asset component in our portfolio. 
Here uh, we assume that asset returns are normally distributed if this is not true then the possibility of asset allocation based on mean variance optimization might also not be true. So, uh, for traditional assets such as equity and bonds asset allocation using mean variance optimization might work well, but for alternative investment uh, the strategy of asset allocation using mean variance optimization might not be working perfectly. Another factor that we should consider as an important for uh, asset allocation is uh, that investors with an exposure to alternative investment must choose an appropriate strategic asset allocation uh, methods. Basically, they should try to avoid generalizing asset classes. So, you cannot consider equities or bonds or gold, real estate and other asset classes at par because the return and variabilities differ across assets and markets. So, you cannot assume that all asset classes have same distribution of return. We have to be very careful to generalize the asset class properties. Uh, if you are considering extreme tail events, basically the extreme tail events indicate the uh, level of distribution of your assets and what is happening at this type of tail or uh, this type of return. So, basically you are trying to understand the uh, extreme tail events in this case and if you are doing so you must be very careful as happens in uh, alternative investment cases such as real estate boom where you were sold uh, certain real estate properties with the hope that the property prices might go really up in future and apparently because of certain regulatory restrictions or any other reasons the property prices have gone down instead. You must have come across news where uh, certain real estate developers have been in trouble because of availability of funds and now the properties are not uh, sold and those who have already invested in those properties are not getting their investment back. Similar case was of cryptocurrency where uh, in uh, one a uh, couple of years ago the cryptocurrency market was booming like anything and uh, people have been really bullish about uh, investing in cryptocurrencies but uh, because of certain regulatory requirements or regulatory restrictions of late the cryptocurrency market has gone down. There are certain other factors responsible for cryptocurrency markets, but uh, the point here is if you are considering extreme tail events as a feature you must be really careful while you are trying to uh, use this as asset allocation strategy. Uh, and finally, mean variance or modern portfolio theory given by Markowitz, uh, these optimization approaches are likely to be totally inaccurate in case of alternate investment. In traditional investment uh, in asset classes such as equity, bonds and uh, uh, other uh, traditional investments, these approaches such as mean variance optimization or any other uh, higher moment optimization as well, they work perfectly fine but here it might not work uh, so well. The basic mathematics behind why it might not work well is uh, discussed here. So, we know that traditionally we try to optimize portfolios based on mean and variance and we consider that systematic risk factors such as beta might be relevant for traditional asset. So, if you remember this is CAPM that is capital asset pricing model which gives us a expected rate of return as a function of risk free rate, systematic risk and market risk premium. So, uh, if you recall this is market risk premium, this is our systematic risk factor and then this is risk free rate. So, here the, uh, the argument is if you invest in asset I, you are likely to get a return that is over and above the return on risk free asset with respect to the beta or risk sensitivity or sensit systematic risk factor with, uh, multiplied with market risk premium. Now, for alternative investment, the focus is on alpha. 
which means you try to outperform the risk adjusted benchmark. So, alpha implies here that if you are trying to get a return over and above your risk free rate that is your excess return. So, excess return should be a function of certain systematic risk which is basically beta market risk premium and then some factor which gives you an advantage over and above these returns and there must be some error some noise which you cannot capture. So, uh, so uh, for alternative investment case you may consider some alpha that is basically uh, a factor that might outperform a risk adjusted benchmark and these risk adjusted benchmark could be government bonds or maybe market return or any other alternative investment return that you might consider. So, here given the factor that uh, strategic uh, risk uh, in asset allocation strategies for alternative investment could consider on certain factors that might be unique and uh, independent of traditional asset market. So, there are several examples where uh, traditional asset allocation strategies have been able to generate more than normal return or better returns when we, they are mixed with alternative investment uh, or asset classes. So, here I have mentioned few examples of the effect of adding one investment class to, to a traditional mixed asset portfolio. So, when you add hedge fund to your uh, mixed asset portfolio which means you have as explained in the beginning of previous session if you have some amount of money in equity some amount of money in debt some you have cash so remaining investment can be anything now this can be hedge fund so you have a por positive portfolio uh, effect which means the return on such a portfolio so this is your portfolio the return on such a portfolio can be higher than the traditional portfolio if you mix hedge fund with this portfolio if you add equity portfolio there are substantially higher return as well if you include REIT which is basically an exposure to real estate investment trust this uh, part of your portfolio can be REIT and your return increases as well. These are empirical evidences from different uh, financial markets in US and Europe. You can also include commodities, REITs and treasury inflation protected securities which are also known as TIPS more popular in Europe and uh, western markets. It provides you positive diversification benefits to investor portfolio. So, if you try to diversify your portfolios in such a way that your risk uh, your equity investment works well with the given level of risk. Similarly, you can have some uh, investment in bonds or fixed income portfolio which are basically your uh, investment in uh, assets which have more of fixed income and then you can keep some amount of cash because cash is important for liquidity then the remaining amount can be invested in any other asset class which has certain amount of investment in these alternative investment classes. Now, uh, I must uh, clarify here that the proportion of your investment in this example is not necessarily going to be substantially high as shown uh, in this pie chart. You can use this uh, based on your risk bearing capacity and the amount of money that you have for investment in these assets. Uh, one unique characteristic of these uh, mixed portfolio is basically holding bonds to substantial uh, extent. So, th this is a mixed portfolio and uh, in these mixed portfolio we should always hold bonds 
because bonds provide you cushion for uh, earning a basic level of return. So, this is why it is important to hold bond. We have also seen that emerging market and risk aversion are negatively correlated. So, in emerging market this might work even better if you have investment in these alternative investment. So, this particular part was alternative investment. Now, uh, now that we have understood uh, the features and benefits of adding uh, uh, alternative investment as your portfolio strategy, we can uh, move on to discuss uh, why uh, these are uh, so relevant for people who have uh, or who have intention to earn substantially higher return compared to the traditional portfolio investment. So, we know that alternative investments are important for strategic asset allocation mainly for institutional investors such as endowment funds or family offices. So, family offices indicate the those private companies that manage money for a uh, single wealthy family. Uh, it could be pension fund also or high net worth individuals. Uh, the restriction or the basic assumption is the family or the, the investment fund or uh, such institutional investors should have sufficient time horizon and investment capital. It cannot work uh, so well with less amount of money. We should also keep in mind uh, that not all alternative investments should be equalized which means you cannot generalize the uh, characteristic of one alternative investment assets with another alternative investment asset it would be inappropriate as substitute for traditional asset classes. So, you cannot have an asset uh, portfolio where uh, you can substitute equity or bond or cash uh, with alternative investment. As explained in previous example, you should always have some cash that is most liquid asset and uh, bonds in your portfolio and along with that equity and alternative investment could form uh, some proportion. Uh, the reason is uh, these are heterogeneous, they have unique features and characteristics. So, you cannot just replace one asset with another asset. Uh, it also depends on the preferences of individual investors. Uh, typically, alternative investment serves better as complement to achieve the desired risk return profile and it provides an opportunity to earn superior returns compared to Markovich 1952 mean variance approach of portfolio optimization. Uh, so, basically when we talk about uh, the expectation of investors and how alternative investment fit into their uh, uh, umbrella or their portfolio choices, we typically uh, depend on whether we can predict the trend in alternative investment markets. Uh, Typically, the trends cannot be predicted as efficiently as we do in traditional asset classes such as equity or bonds. So, asset uh, since alternative investment market is very diverse and each of the asset uh, in alternative investment has unique features. For example, real estate could be uh, one such market where uh, the, uh, the financial characteristics or statistical properties of real estate market in one location might be totally different from that in another location. So, we cannot just uh, generalize the characteristic of one real estate market or real estate market in one area with the real estate market in another area. It totally depends on test of investors and other macroeconomic features. Similarly, commodities market are also ancient and we have known it for uh, forever. So, these cannot be generalized. Uh, there are several other examples including private equity and uh, venture capital as well. So, the idea is forecasting uh, traditional asset market and forecasting alternative investment asset market is a to different ball game. So, uh, whenever we try to understand the role of uh, alternative investment in strategic asset allocation, we should uh, treat this issue with very uh, high amount of sensitivity towards risk and return preferences of individual investors. How we include these assets in our portfolios will be discussed in uh, next lecture. For now, this is it. Uh, all the references are listed here. That is all. Thank you.